haul. So I have a small haul here. I had to go in there to get, what was it I had to go in there and get? Well, Jason called me and asked for some batteries, but that won't end. I know I wanted some of these Italian green beans. They are not totally E2M approved, but they don't have one of those ingredients in here. Oh, yes, it does, but it'd be all right. <coughs> but y'all, if you just start and don't get that. So I went in there in this store, they had the big cans. I think the small cans are in the food line store. I'm not sure. So I got some raspberries. Um, next week we can have um, this on the meal plan. And then I have some strawberries. And then I got, y'all, they're playing Operation over there. I think it's the Cars edition. So that's what that noise is. Um, I got, I like this stir fry here. And I have used it three times, three, three times. And I usually mix this with fruit. So I like this, it's like $3.18. I got some bananas. These are the best ones that they had, but it's okay. It's okay, cause they got green and they're ripe. I got some lemons and then I should have, I wanted to get a pineapple, but their pineapples didn't look good. I saw this when I needed to go to the health and beauty section. And it was a Myers hand soap. I was looking for this in Target the other day, the Acorn Spice. I looked in the cleaning section and the cleaning section, they did not have any surface spray. I didn't see it. Cause I went in Target and I asked them, do they have any? Cause I, it's kind of early in the season. Um, this was weeks ago and he said, it, he not sure if they had some and I didn't see any. Anyway, I got some Pro Enamel Sensodyne. Um, I use this quite often and need it, but I have not purchased it in a while because I've been good. I got them some Energizer AAA batteries for the board game they were asking for. I almost left them in the cart because I didn't see them. I also got these for their lunches and for snacks. And um, I don't see them all the time, so I went ahead and got two of these. The other day I did a Walmart pickup. No, it's supposed to be delivery, but I accidentally did pick up and she gave me some weird uh combination snack pack and i was like no no cancel the whole order but um also because it was pickup and i didn't have time to pick it up i got some apple juice to fill up these little bottles that i got from amazon um some of you asked me you know just two people asked me no one person just asked me i'm sorry um where the bottles came from they'll be in my amazon storefront they're little clear bottles they look like do they have used these they look like this so the boys do really good with portion control really jj's the only one that drinks this um Sia's finicky he's real finicky y'all i never seen a child that doesn't care too much for apple juice and don't like orange juice at all never in my life so when you see certain things, it may be on a bar or something like that. It's only, usually it's just, uh, both of them, it's so many choices because both of them don't like the same things. Like, Josiah likes granola bars, but only certain kinds. JJ only likes the kind with the chocolate chip. Then JJ has a slight nut allergy, I believe. He don't like nuts, so just different stuff. Okay, y'all, I got this apples and cinnamon. This one actually for Jason um, because I was already over there getting the maple and brown sugar. So if he wanted something one day um, on his cheat meal or something, he can have this. Only got two of those. I don't care for um, oatmeal, never have. And then so uh, the boys like JJ, he only inside only like this kind. I know y'all. I think Trail will eat any, any kind. Trail is my kid that'll eat just about anything except potato salad and stuff like that. So anyway, these are $1.24, got that. And then um, got some petroleum jelly because I went and got my nails done because they were looking real bad. I, it was getting on my nerves because I'm working a lot with my hands and I kept looking at my nails. So I was getting the gel nails for a couple of months now and I wanted to take a break. Took a break, well, when I took the stuff off, I kind of took them off and I'm used to my nails being strong and now they're kind of brittle and I wanted to take a break. Try to polish them and do them myself. Didn't take them off correctly. They're really fragile. So I just went ahead and got them um, gel manicured anyway. Again, 
because they were just so brittle. Even when I did them myself, they were breaking. I'm not used to that. So, as well, I'm always washing dishes, doing something with my hands, and the polish just chips off. So, anyway, she said, just like I'm ashy now, but she said um, she could tell my cuticles were really dry, and she said use petroleum jelly um, on my hands, not just the lotion, but with that, too. So, I got two of these for a dollar. I had to really search for it. It was like in the dent, um, first aid section. But they do have some in the baby section, but not much. Okay, y'all, I got this. I've been wanting to get this for a while. So, I wanted to try this Thera Breath Orient. They didn't have but a few of them. So, I got that one. Um, the boys are probably almost out of this. They like to take that. They only take the serving size y'all and then this here i love this this has my nails strong has my hair growing faster but i think jj has gotten into my <laughs> i should never said it out loud he has gotten into my vitamins y'all so this is for hair skin and nails and i was kind of suspecting him going through it but not sure but when i only had two left yesterday i was like yeah he's going through them i got some grapes um because we can have that next week let me show you what i got from bath and body works and that may be it all right hopefuls i hope you guys are doing great so really small haul here I'm trying to make sure i got everything i think i did i got some bubbly this is walmart y'all um some buble bubbly however you want to say it strawberry this is one of our favorites and we mix it with um mio can't find just the regular strawberry mio sometimes we just use fruit punch or strawberry watermelon when we can find it um i have some shrimp i always try to pick up some shrimp i do owe you guys several of you asked how i make my stir fry which i make it several different ways i just throw seasoning and stuff in it and i'll make sure i record that y'all just got a little bit i <laughs> got some projects due for school but i will record it i did record it before but i don't know how well the footage is i have to look at it so I'm gonna make this really quickly. Um, then I got some plates. I got the hundred count, and then the Dr. Bomber Bonner's um, baby unscented. I love this soap. Um, I actually have the lavender, and I thought I had footage, y'all, of when I did this haul. It I don't know if it was an Instacart. Or, I think it was a, not Instacart, but a delivery. Um, I got the big bottle, the thirty-two ounce. And I love it. So it looks runny. It is runny, but it doesn't. It soaps up really well. You feel super clean. I have not tried this scent before. I was looking at some of the reviews, and some people said they use it to deter um, maybe ants or pests or something like that. So I think in their garden, garden, and then they clean with it, like clean their house. So I'm gonna look into some of those other scents and try that. And, um, but I wanted the big bottle. This was eleven ninety seven. Um, the big bottle cap was ripped off, so I didn't get it. I wanted to try this Billy whipped shave cream. Um, head to curve was talking about it in her video and I just wanted to try it cause, um, I feel like my skin is getting more sensitive and I don't know if that's because taking more showers, working out. I don't know. So I don't know y'all. Okay, so I got some cashew, probably getting older too, some cashew sweet and salty. I love the Great Value brand, and I love the price. It's like $143, so um, I try to keep these for, Josiah likes these for lunch. Uh, JJ doesn't care for these too much. We like them, but, you know, we don't have these on E2M right now. Um, I do like to put them on the bar as well. Um, I was looking for some Pop-Tarts for them. They do have a box still not open yet. Um, the Great Value brand, which is $1.50, way cheaper than the regular Pop-Tarts brand. I think it was like $4.44 today I saw in the store. I also picked up some strawberry fruit and grain cereal bars. Um, I think they like these. <laughs> I went ahead and got them. They were like $1.29. Not much. Okay, so the main reason why I went in there to get um, my Honey Pot pads um, I love these. Oh, um, y'all, when you put them on, they're like minty. Um, before I would not dare got these because, you know, sorry, gentlemen, if I have guys on the channel, um, y'all that follow all along, long, follow me for a while, heard me talk about, you know, my, um, 
my cycles are really heavy. So that's one reason why I had to get the iron infusions. You guys heard me talk about that. And she did an ultrasound. I never uploaded that vlog yet. Maybe I will one day when I was talking about it. And also when I went to get the ultrasound. So she, um, I didn't have any fibroids. So I don't know why. I don't know. It's just hereditary or what. But anyway, y'all, my iron's been low since I had Josiah. Actually, I went to a new doctor, a different hematologist. And um, she said, it's doing great. What happened was I went back to the GYN. Sorry, y'all, this story time. <laughs> I went back to the GYN and she gave me a medication to make my cycles lighter. It's not birth control or anything. I didn't want the, what is it called? IDU? What is y'all called? Morena? I can't think of, was it DU? What is y'all? The IDU or UDI? I don't remember what it's called to make your cycles, you know, they'll leave it in your body for five years. I didn't want to do that. So, um, I need to, I do need to make a follow-up video phone call with her to see if she'll, um, consider me to get a hysterectomy. So right now the medication is working and I take it when my cycle comes on and I take it three times a day and it lights my cycles. Cause even though they say super pads, these are not no super, I mean, they probably super pads, but they're not like the kind y'all know, like, uh, let's see, stay free and always those thick ones. Cause I need the thick ones and I have to wear, um, a tampon at the same time. So sorry, y'all, this was like TMI, but I know some of you all say you have, um, had to get iron infusions or heavy cycles and you was, um, wanting me to talk about it and stuff like that. So that's what, that's what's working. This is probably the third time that I've taken the medication. So three times my cycle has came around and it's working. It's working, y'all, because she did my blood work and my iron wasn't low. Because usually by this time, I would have to get another iron infusion. So to say all of that, y'all, <laughs> I would not have dared got these before because I would have, it would have been, yeah, it wouldn't have worked for me. Um, These are, these are, this is like the scale. And I have, I do have the regular, but I have plenty of those. Next time I will try the overnight because it gets just a tad bit heavy. Uh, maybe that full first day. Um, I wanted to try the liners as well. And I like these. Um, I think the regular are unscented or whatever. But Target has, uh, Walmart has, these are where I got these from, Walmart, y'all. But Target has so many more. I want to try the liners. This was the only one on the shelf. So maybe that's a good indication. It's good. Sorry, y'all, that was a whole lot. Um, Pamper Sensitive. Um, I like to get these wipes. Remember, I got that big wipe when I was prepping a lot, a big box. I think that's really good to get, even if you don't have little ones um, to wash your face. We don't use these baby wipes, y'all. Um, this is probably the last pack. It might be one more pack upstairs for everything. Everything. So, this is for now, and then I'll get a big box one day when I go on Sam's or something or Costco. Um, I got some sugar-free Thai chili sauce, wing sauce. I have not tried um, G. Hughes. This is our go-to. I have to upload this video too of a bunch of these sauces that Jason and I were just going ham. This is not on E2M at all, but it is a sugar-free option if you feel like you need something to your mundane chicken, to your stir-fry. Um, when I do do stir-fry, I only use a little bit. I have made it without it. So, um, or you can make it and then pour just a little bit on your food so everybody else that's eating that may be on E2M, they don't have to taste it. Um, some of his stuff, I do taste the additives and preservatives in it, and I don't like it. But the Yum Yum Sauce is not bad. Jason about killed this. He added a little bit of water because it is super thick. I don't know why, but it is. Um, and I tried it yesterday. He's always trying this like, oh, try it. Just try it. And um, I did try it, and it was good, even with the water. Okay, I got some Skinny Girl Italian salad dressing, and they need, must needed to restock. They did not have the buttermilk ranch, um, but uh, let's see, it's 10 calories, which was less calories than G. Hughes, surprisingly. But G. Hughes salad dressing, I really don't care for, and it's like sweet, super sweet to me, And but Jason loves it. Um, I want a salad. Okay, I got Sasa a wallet. I was really just cutting through there, and I saw him. You don't see little boys' wallets all the time. Um, this one, he is obsessed with the countries. Um, so I got this one, even though it looks like the racing flag. But this one down here looks like the different countries. 
I don't know why my child, he just, he goes on YouTube and he learns these things on his own. He knew all about the solar system and he doesn't care for that too much anymore because he knows everything, but he still likes it. But now all the countries, y'all, he knew all the countries in Asia, his teacher asked him yesterday. So anyway, y'all, I got him a jacket so it won't, you know, the cold season would not creep up on me with him. And that's it.